Where was Songhai? What was unique about the empire of Songhai? Hi, welcome to another episode of the Sankofa Pan-African series. Please click on your subscription button and your notification buttons if you've not already done so. Thank you. Now, as Mali continued to uh, decline steadily, Songhai, with its capital in Gao, was rising. The people of Songhai are believed to have established themselves initially in the city of Gao around 800 AD, long before Gao became the capital city of the Songhai Empire. They grew to occupy the middle points of the River Niger in present-day central Mali and eventually extended westwards to the Atlantic coast and eastwards to the present-day Republic of Niger as well as northern Nigeria. As indicated in the episode on the Mali Empire, if you've not watched that, take a moment uh, to do so. We did the Mali in two parts, so watch both parts. Now, as indicated in that episode, in, in those episodes on uh, the Mali Empire, the two Songhai princes whom Mansa Musa took with him when Gao was captured by, by Mali escaped after his death to found a new Songhai dynasty. This dynasty then gradually began to attack and eat into Mali. It captured Timbuktu in 1464, and, and this led to a new age of cultural and commercial success for Songhai. This is because Timbuktu was a commercial nerve center, as well as the location of the University of Sankuri which had flourished so well under the Malians. Another major achievement during this period was the annexation of Jene, a prosperous and powerful city which had managed to resist many incursions by Mali. Now, Songhai captured Jene city around 1473 like the major um, trading uh, center Timbuktu, which was only about 300 miles away from it, Jene had also evolved into not just a city with magnificent uh, buildings, but it had also become another center of learning. And according to John G. Jackson, it was home to a university which employed thousands of lecturers and researchers in various academic fields. He highlights the high level of learning by pointing to the medical school, which trained physicians and surgeons who were so highly skilled that they succeeded, that they, they successfully removed cataracts from the hu human eye. This was at a time when Europeans were de still depending on local healers or barbers to be bled or leached for practically all major ailments. Even their royalty, you know, they mostly depended on bleeding or using leeches to cure any major uh, ailments. Anyway, like Mansa Musa, the Early rulers of uh, the new Songhai uh, dynasty were also Muslims, but they were tolerant of other beliefs. However, their Muslim subjects, some of their Muslim subjects were not happy with this. They began to put pressure on them in order to convert them to more fundamental beliefs, which they claimed was the true faith. Now, these fundamentalist groups succeeded in overthrowing one such ruler. They then replaced him with a person of their choice, Askia Muhammad. Under Askia Muhammad, the empire 
continue to prosper by raiding and compelling conquered states to practice Islam. He then centralized the governance of the empire by appointing governors to administer provinces which he set up. He also appointed other officers to see to areas like uh, taxes, um, um, the treasury, and so on. His foreign, um, his, his reign, in a way, he kind of modeled his, um, the administration of, of the empire along the lines that uh, Mansa Musa had uh, set up um, in Mali. Um, his reign resulted in the expansion of trade with the Europe and the Middle East and the creation of many Islamic schools as well as the establishment of Islam as an integral part of the empire. The fact that um, Askia Mohammed encouraged learning and literacy ensured that Songhai's universities produced many Muslim scholars who published significant books. Um, in the universities, courses on logic, uh, philosophy, ethnography, medicine, mathematics, rhetoric, etc. were taught. And uh, one such scholar, uh, very uh, famously known, whose works have continued to endure, um, was Hamed Baba, Hamed Baba, who wrote many books on Islamic law. Askia Muhammad was um, overthrown by his son in 1538. However, this son and his subsequent uh, progeny who reigned after him were not uh, capable rulers and the empire began to decline. And by uh, 1585, Morocco cornered the salt mines, which was a huge source of, uh, uh, one of the major sources of uh, income for the empire. And five years later, Songhai was invaded by Moors from North Africa under the leadership of a Spaniard. Now, these invaders, though small in number, managed to overcome the empire because they had the advantage of attacking with guns and they were loaded with gunpowder, which was supplied by England. After sacking Gao and uh, Timbuktu, the Moors then settled as an occupying army for the next 150 years. Um, most historians see this as the final end, you know, the final nail in the coffin of Africa's golden age. Because from this period on, danger replaced security of life and, um, and prosperity gave way to poverty and violence. Um, thanks for, for watching. Uh, please send your comments and questions. Um, to our community page and um, don't forget to share our videos. See you next time.